the usual way as an actor, you do your research. Like she has an incredible book that I read pretty straight away. Um, I asked as many questions to myself as I could before I knew that I had to, I had to meet her. I had to sit with her and just get, get the energy, get the vibes. And um, she agreed and she welcomed me into her home on a couple of occasions. And I had loads of questions, like hundreds of questions, and I didn't ask one. I just soaked her in. I literally just said, whatever you want to tell me, whatever you want to impart is what's going to help me and it's going to inform the shoot for me. And it did. She's like an energy, spirit, ethereal being that, um, I mean, I can only hope that, you know, I was able to get a little bit of her in the film. It was brilliant. Um, I think absolutely essential to have their guidance and to have them at the end of the phone, across a text, um, on set behind the monitors, you know, they weren't watching with like a um, judgmental eye or questioning anything. They were there just as like protectors of their parents, their legacy and their story. And although we're shooting a film, this is their life, you know, and I think that they really trusted me and Kingsley to come in and just protect their parents. That was my sole purpose to make sure that Mrs. Marley was upheld. Um, so I, I don't think I would have been able to reach the point that I did um, developing the, the Rita that everyone's going to know without their help. So very, very grateful they were in on everything.